Well, the Oakland Raiders were hoping for maybe a bit of an improved year this year, and as far as week one went, did not get off to a promising start. They got blasted at home by Cincinnati, and of course, quarterback Derek Carr got banged up. He is uh, probable, he's listed as probable right now to play in week two. There's no market-wide line, but we are going to analyze the game right now anyway with Jeff Cadillac from jeffcadillac.com. I'm Peter Lozak, and this is sbrvideos.com. All right, Jeff Cadillac, a lot of people in, uh, in Oakland were very high. You know, the Carr to Cooper connection didn't really pay off in week one, and they got blasted. There's no market-wide line now, but uh, you have an opinion on this game. And then Baltimore, you know, Flacco didn't look too good in, uh, in Denver in week one, but he always has, you know, a few games where he stinks during the regular season. Most of his games are, are pretty good. Uh, you know, Baltimore lost and didn't get the cover. Here they're going to be at Oakland, and Oakland, you know, with a banged-up car is looking like a pretty, uh, you know, a team ripe for a, for a beatdown. The question is, where will the line be? Where will the value be? What do you think, Jeff? Well, I think Baltimore is definitely looking at a rebound this week. Yeah. The bounce back in the NFL is a very big factor to take into consideration when figuring out we, uh, games week to week for teams. And Baltimore probably went into Denver thinking that Peyton Manning and the offense was going to be stagnated, and he was right. But the defense for Denver definitely stepped up, and Flacco threw two interceptions that were key in the second half against Denver, and that's why they lost the game. Uh, you have uh, Baltimore's offense definitely has to get going. I think, uh, you know, especially now that Terrell Suggs, linebacker, he's out for the season with a torn Achilles tendon. Uh, he's gone. That's a big, big uh, hole there for the defense. But the funny thing about Baltimore is you always have people stepping up. When somebody leaves, somebody steps up. Somebody gets injured, they step up. Baltimore is always in the mix for the playoffs every year. And I feel they're going to have the same thing here for 2015. But after the week one disappointment against Denver, Oakland is ready for the taking against Baltimore. Baltimore didn't go back to Baltimore after the Denver game. They stayed on the West Coast so that they could give their players a bit of a rest travel-wise. Uh, they come into Oakland. Uh, I know the spread is, uh, you know, it's open right now. I've seen some lines right now at about six and a half lane as uh, Baltimore is the favorite on the road. It's that way right now. It's kind of open because Derek Carr is probable for this game. He decided that uh, when, he, when he ran the ball uh, last week against Cincy, he decided to stiff arm a, uh, a defender with his throwing hand. Not, not a smart move in the NFL or uh, any game for that matter. But uh, there are a lot of high hopes for Oakland. Uh, but unfortunately, I look at Oakland as the team that the NFL just forgot. Because they're, from year to year, there's a lot of high hopes. They bring in a lot of players. And for some reason, nothing gets going. Uh, Baltimore is definitely here. They're going to uh, definitely bounce back. Uh, I think Flacco and company is going to get back on the same page. Oakland, they just have to be competitive. But when it comes to teams that are looking for that bounce back win, it's very tough to get yourself going. And not even knowing that the quarterback is going to play this week, that's a big factor to consider right here. You know, I liked Oakland against Cincinnati. I thought they were going to get, you know, at least make it close. At least it was going to be competitive, but they got blown out of the doors. Sure, and Oakland was supposedly Oakland was supposedly a sharp side last week. Took sharp action right. early in the week. That's right. And I was looking at Oakland and saying, you know what, they could maybe take Cincinnati uh, because Cincinnati in recent years has not been so great on the road, especially traveling, you know, to the West Coast. And... Uh, you know, Oakland just fell apart like a, uh, you know, a deck of cards, house of cards. And it was just very disappointing to see it that, you know, you get you, the lines all of a sudden. It's like, you know, 14 nothing, 21 nothing, 24. It's like the score was just out of control. And um, I don't see a lot of, uh, you know, things gelling this week for Oakland against Baltimore. I think Baltimore is better coached. They have a better quarterback. And I think they will uh, bounce back against Oakland this week, no matter what the line is. All right, Jeff Cadillac, like in Baltimore, whether car plays or not. Tell us quickly about uh, what your website, jeffcadillac.com, is all about, Jeff. Well, jeffcadillac.com, you can get all the games every week for free. I analyze all the games against the spread. Uh, I also do, uh, at my best bet of the week is Twitter, at jeffcadillac1. You can follow me every week. And, uh, hey, you know, I'm looking forward to a great season, 2015, baby. Thanks so much, Jeff.